Hi, welcome back to Howtex. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the OnePlus 3T. This is the newly updated version of the popular OnePlus 3, uh, and it's just come out last month, in the last couple weeks. And the OnePlus 3 only came out in June, so it's kind of surprising that they've updated to a new phone so quickly, but it's a very minor update. Uh, as we unbox, we'll talk about the differences. So first of all, this is a China version, so it's all written in Chinese, but basically 64 gigabytes. Uh, also, it says here in Chinese, this is the gunmetal gray uh, color, and right now there's only one color available. So let's take a look inside the box. Packaging is basically the same as the OnePlus 3 as well, I believe. So here's the phone, beautiful as ever. Uh, let's put this aside, look in the box first. So, uh, pull this up. We have a card, which is all written in Chinese, but basically never subtle from the CEO, Mr. Liu. Uh, we have the dash charger. Which is uh, four amps, so it's actually pretty, pretty high. Uh, should charge very quickly. We have a nice, nicely coiled USB-C cable uh, with these nice clips to keep everything together. And that's basically it. The only other thing is we have some documentation. If I can get this guy back in. The only other thing is we have some documentation here inside the box which is your typical getting started guide, etc. Um, and the SIM removal tool. So we'll skip all that and get to the phones. So what's the difference between a OnePlus 3T and a OnePlus 3? So as near as I can tell, there's basically three major differences. Um, first of all is the processor. So the OnePlus 3 has a 820 Snapdragon. Uh, for the new version, the 3T, they've updated it to a Snapdragon 821, which is the same processor you find in the uh, new Pixels by Google. The other major difference is this front-facing camera. Uh, in the OnePlus 3, it's an 8 megapixel camera. Here on the OnePlus 3T, it's uh, upgraded to 16 megapixel. Uh, the other major difference is the battery. So the OnePlus 3 had a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, this one, despite being the same weight, uh, claiming to be the same weight, it's actually a 3400 uh, milliamp hour battery, which basically gives you a, a couple extra hours, you know, for the same amount of weight and size. So that's actually pretty awesome that they were able to upgrade the uh, battery materials. So those are the only major differences. Uh, the other one is the fact that this is the OnePlus 3T is available both in 64 gigabyte size and 128 gigabyte size. And that's actually really important because there's no SD card slot on this phone, so the internal memory, you're basically stuck with it. So um, the fact that they off offer a larger size now is great as well. So as far as the design goes, it's identical to the other one. Um, and I actually have a OnePlus 3. This is a OnePlus 3. This is a OnePlus 3T. You can't tell the difference almost at all. Uh, the markings are the same. Uh, the only difference is this is a slightly different color. This is, I think you call it graphite. This is called gunmetal gray. Um, you can kind of see the difference, but I mean, depending on the light, it looks pretty similar. Um, as far as the markings go, I would be very careful if I were buying one of these secondhand because you might be, be thinking you're getting a 3T or maybe you're getting a 3T box, but it could be switched with this one, so be very careful. Um, the, the clearly marked one, if it still has the uh, packaging on here, is the part number. So you can see this is the, on the uh, OnePlus 3, it's uh, A3000, and on the OnePlus 3T, it's a A310. So that's the clear difference. Um, Size-wise, obviously identical. The weight actually feels slightly higher on this one, um, but maybe it, I'm just not quite sure. It's pretty close either way. So I think when they say the weight's identical, it's, it's close enough. So let's keep the T 
and put the the, the regular three back. Um, let's power this guy up. Uh, function wise, um, same thing. We have the camera on the back. We have the fingerprint sensor here. Um, this is for turning on and off the screen. SIM tray, front facing camera, sensor. Uh, we have, this is the, uh, the notification slide. And this is also the volume rocker up and down. And here we go, this is a new phone, so let's go through the steps, I'll skip them. So here's the phone, once you skip through all the uh, setup, it looks like this. Uh, basically, let's take a look under the hood. If I go to settings and about the phone, I can see some info on it. So basically, we're running Android 6.0.1. Uh, even though this is an upgraded model, they still don't have Android 7.0 working yet, but it should be coming soon. Uh, but basically you have uh, 64 gigabytes internal storage, 6 gigabytes of RAM, uh, and this is running Oxygen uh, OS 3.5.3. Uh, as far as the phone itself goes, the display is exactly the same as the uh, OnePlus 3. So this is the uh, 1080 by 1920 5.5 AM OLED screen. Really looks good. Uh, sounds good as well. So let's take a look at the music player see what's installed here automatically some Chinese music not necessarily my favorite but that's great okay so that's the sounds uh, let's take a look a quick look at the camera it's basically your standard app same as the previous one um, take some photos so anyway basically uh, standard app, um, same performance. Actually, the rear-facing camera is exactly the same as the OnePlus 3 as well, uh, and it's actually pretty good, so no need to upgrade that one. So those are the basics. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to check out our other how-to videos for the OnePlus 3T as well as the OnePlus 3. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time. And last but not least, you can do manual. So uh, you can choose the ISO, you can adjust various settings, exposure, 